after seeing on that. Right. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, time for the last of our contenders for the title Pride of Britain Local Hero. All this week we've been featuring people who've helped their community. And tonight we meet Cash Gill, a former world champion kickboxer who runs a gym where he's been passing on his skills and encouraging youngsters to get involved in sport. Now, without Cash as their inspiration, many say they'd be drawn into crime and antisocial behaviour. Here's the final story in our Local Hero series. I'm from Hansworth, the inner city. I mean, everyone knows Hansworth with the riots. Um, I mean, I grew up around the riots as well. Uh, a lot of the kids were going to uh, drugs and crime and stuff, and I wanted to get out of that, that area. I mean, a lot of my friends were doing it. I thought, I'm going to take up a uh, kickboxing. Move to the left, move to the left. With a young 14 year old kid, I had a go at it once, and I got addicted ever since. I've had a fantastic life with my kickboxing. Uh, I started off as a young amateur. First fight at 17 years old. Won the Midland title to start, then won a the British title, won a European title, obviously won a world title. The first time I opened the club in Hansa, there's over 100 people there. I was absolutely amazed. It gave me a lot of money, but I don't really do it for the money. I should really, but because I love it so much. And it's for the community as well. I get all these kids off the street, give them something else to focus on. You know, sure. Sure. what we've got here, we've got a good mix. We've got whites, we've got blacks. We've got Asians, we've got Russians, we've got Polish, we've got everybody here, we've got ladies, we've got kids. That's what I'm really happy with, bringing everyone together, making them very proud. We all here, like, you know, like brothers, yeah, yeah, that's it. Got me off the streets, get me off, get me away from those bad friends that influence you in those bad ways, you know, take you off the path and stuff, but Cash is kind of like, they come to the gym, train this day, that day, we get you in the ring, we get you fighting. I go into the local schools, I go and teach all the young kids and I tell them the way forward is to be positive and if you believe in something you can do it, whether it's football, whether it's cricket, it's kickboxing, it's really boxing, you have to have belief. I was an aggressive teenager that football didn't do nothing for, I've been in trouble with the police. So I was heavy into drugs and that when I was about 17 and then I went to prison at 14 when I come out. One of my friends brought me to Cash's gym and started training from then I didn't take, take drugs or ever get arrested again. All we hear about is the bad things. We need to work on the more positive thing, and that's my job as a role model for these young kids to bring them into it, and hopefully they'll follow my footsteps. Cash is somebody they could look up to, somebody with a bit of character. So, you know, when you see him training or giving lessons, you, know, you can see the kids are in awe because of the person he is. It's all about discipline and respect, and a lot of young kids now on the streets, the parents can see, so they're bringing the kids in, and with the kids, straight away, we can change their lives. We've had kids in here. The lives have been changed. They weren't for me, they'd be in prison now. I think it's the, uh, the effort he puts in. He gets the effort back out from them and he shows that he cares about them. You earn respect, you don't demand it. And that's why it's worked with me. And you know, I love my students, I love coaching. It's my life. Five more to your own camp, five more. And that's it. You've now seen all four finalists in our campaign to find the central region's local hero. And on tomorrow's programme, we'll be revealing our winner. Certainly will, yes. And uh, he or she will be heading for London to compete with other Pride of Britain local heroes from across the country for the national title. The All-Star Pride of Britain Awards Ceremony will be shown on ITV1 on Wednesday, October the 5th. Now, the national and international news...